When I was invited to join the Jurong General Hospital, I had this idea of uh, not just helping to build a hospital, but also to develop a healthcare delivery system for the whole of uh, the west part of Singapore. And uh, therefore, I went about giving off my best to make sure that this hospital will one day be a really good hospital for the people. And to me, the name of this hospital reflects the area and also would, uh, and is also very appropriate because it's just in Jurong itself. Then one day when I was, I attended the board meeting and I, I was told that the hospital is going to have a different name. <clears throat> I was a bit concerned and I was quite angry that the name of the hospital will be changed. And the name of the hospital, the, the name is not someone whom I would think Singaporeans would, uh, can associate with in terms of history, because the name must be able to resonate with the people. I would have thought the hospital, if, if uh, it's a public institution, should be named after public figures, like Dr. Go King Sui, Wee Kim Mui, Ong Ting Chong, and, our, and, and people who have made substantial contributions to the country. I think that is very important because it is a public institution. The government gave us $970 million to build this hospital. So a lot of public funds is involved. It's a big sum. And therefore, the public should have a bigger say in, in, in any naming. So when I was told that the name of the hospital would be changed to, to, to that of Mr. Ng Teng Fong, because he donated $125 million to this hospital, I was taken aback. To many people, a contribution like this should be welcome, and I also welcome this contribution. But then there's a question of what level of thanks would you want to give to these people, to these big donors? If it's 125 million, out of nearly one billion dollars, I think it's not very proper to name the whole hospital after him. I have nothing against Mr. Ng Teng Fong. I don't know him well. All that I know that he, is, he has developed a lot of projects in Singapore, so many homes. That is his contribution. We have to recognize the fact he has helped to build that, that, that uh, the, <clears throat> the beloved homes for many people who can afford him his uh, price. I don't want to send the wrong message to my grandchildren. One day when, he asked, when they asked me, why do you name, why is this hospital named after this particular person? How am I going to tell him that because somebody signed a check and the whole name of the hospital is given to him, he wouldn't know, he, I must, must be, he must be able to associate, like I say, he must be able to resonate with this name. He must be able to feel proud that this particular person did, made very, very big contributions to the country. And there's some historical element there. It's not just money. So I, I decided I better leave because if I'm so upset by it and there's a principle involved, I better leave. I think there are some people who may disagree with me I guess it is, it, it, they have every right to disagree. They might think that, well, just name given and why make all the fuss? But I think it is quite different here because it is a public institution. Very important, it's a public institution. And a public institution must be looked upon by our young uh, with, with some, some connection to that particular name in terms of history, politics, and 
big charities. So I hope that uh, we will be more careful in future when we name buildings after people. As I said, I remember the Straits Times said that to the giver a suitable level of thanks. I thought that was very good because it has to be, a, be appropriate to the uh, amount that is being contributed. And also, not only the money aspect, we have to take into, we have to study that particular individual, what is his contribution to the country. My fear is that if somebody comes and becomes a, a citizen in Singapore, and he's a very, very rich citizen, he makes a big, one day he wants to name after, say, one of our new hospital, and he gives you half a billion dollars, half a billion dollars, and you name after him. And then later on, <coughs> when he's discovered that he has got something not very good about him from the country of his origin, then we will be very, very embarrassed. So I think we have to be very careful about that. <laughs>